Lads, thank you very much for, for joining us after the game. Um, if we start with the goals, first, Josh, you scored after a sober assist, and sober, you scored after a Josh assist. Nice to help each other out today, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, sober never gets in the back post. So <laughs> I don't ever bother crossing it, but I saw him there for once. And you see what happens, he gets a tap in. So you two have got a, a good relationship off the pitch, I think people know, but today was a good relationship on the pitch as well. It must be nice that you people know you for your assists, but getting on the score sheet again, that's something the gaffer mentioned in the summary he wanted you to do a bit more of. We, we tried to give you the one from the corner, but today there's nobody taking that one off you today. No, of course, man. Obviously, for me, I wanted to add more goals to my game. I'm not just someone that just thrives off assists. I want to add some goals to my game as well. And for me, I'm... So, well, if I'm going to be honest, I'm a bit lazy at times to get to the back post, but I thought as Jacob took the touch, I just knew I had to get to the back post there, and for me, he had to hit me. <laughs> if not, then I mean, we're having a different conversation, but um, yeah, I'll see. You know what I mean? We, we try our best, you know what I mean? And for us, we try to keep going as a duo, really. Josh, as you were coming off the pitch, I, I think I said to you that we're going to be doing the interview with you, and, and I'm not going to give the exact quote of your summation of your performance today, but it's, it's uh, fair to say you're pleased with how you played today. Uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't obviously got on the score sheet yet. That was my first goal of the season. My game is purely judged on how I perform going forward. Of course, defensively, we have a job to do, which we all done today. Not just me, so, but um, me, I thought was unbelievable. Um, but yeah, we kept a clean sheet and then we reaped the benefits, me and so We both got on the score sheet. I feel like if we're being critical as a team, probably should have had three or four. But um, I mean, yeah, it's a good win. Went to Stoke on Wednesday. Josh, you and Sorba both didn't play against West Brom from the start, but you're in today. It kind of shows that we have got a bit more strength in depth than people might uh, imagine that we do. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, you saw me and Sorba were obviously disappointed to be out of the team against West Brom. But, um, yeah, I thankfully come on. Um, we won 2-1 last minute. Winner you can't really beat, but... Um, yeah, we was both back in today with a point of prove, and I think you proved it. So, for you, in, in the first half, you had one that was a bit of an air shot, but that wasn't your fault. It was a, a deflection on your way in. That, that seemed like it was going to be a tap in, but you got the one in the second half. It, it's good for you that you know that disappointment of not being able to get that first one. You managed to, to make it right in the second half. Yeah, of course. Obviously, um, for myself, I think one critic of myself is I beat myself up after a bad cross, a bad shot, or anything like that. And I felt like to myself, I will get another chance in this game. The game was very open. Um, fair play to us. Um, the defenders did their job. Every single one of them won real. And for us as attackers, it's about when we get the chance to put it away. And like JK said, we should have been three, four, fives up in the, by the end of this game. But for us, we, we know what we need to do. We need to be more, more clinical at times, uh, put teams to bed. But yeah, for me, it's just it's a learning curve for me not to beat myself up too early because you never know what can happen during the full 90 minutes, really. When we talked to you in pre-season as well, you mentioned maturing a little bit, getting used to it. Obviously, professional football and football at this level was still quite new to you. It's only third season now, probably. Um, but the, the relationship you got with the, the supporters, they clapped you off, they were on their feet for you, um, they were singing your name as you came off and after the goal. That must be nice that you've recaptured that relationship as well. It's an obviously for me, it's like I said to, um, to yourself and other people in the team, but listening to people I don't need to listen to and... For me, once I focus on my game and I play my game and not really listen to outside noise, uh, the best best sober comes out really. And um, my teammates are around me all the time, uh, keeping me level-headed. And for me, all I've got to do is work hard on the pitch and they can say everything they want to say about me, bad or good, but at the end of the day, I'm playing for myself and the team really. Josh, just the final question to you then. It's another quick turnaround on, on Wednesday against um, Stoke. Uh, what's the mood like? Back-to-back -back wins, we must be feeling good in there at the minute. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously wins breed amazing confidence, but we weren't down after, obviously, we didn't have a result for the first four games, I think it was, or we got a draw against Borough, obviously, but the uh, mood around the place weren't down because we knew we played well. Obviously, Norwich was a bit hard to take, but we knew, obviously, we made two in like we made two errors for two goals, which kind of put the game to bed. But, I mean, we started that game well, so we know if we can play well against them kind of teams, when we play other teams in the league, not saying any game's easy, but um, we'll get more chances, we'll play better. Um, so, yeah, the mood's just improving with wins and as time goes on. Perfect. Lads, congratulations on the result. Well done on the goals. Sorba, thank you for being my co-presenter. And uh, we'll speak to you again soon. Uh, thank you.